they designed it to be so good down low and so good at close air support, getting below the weather, supporting the troops on the ground, no matter what the cost, the airplane can get down there and it's still survivable. I love the mission, the supporting the troops on the ground. So you get called for troops in contact, you get to show up, and then immediately after you check in, you hear the relief in their voice. And then once you put down the first rounds of guns, contact is done. The, the enemy's running, they don't want to fight anymore, and the guys can breathe easy, and you can hear that all on the radio. You can hear the relief. The A-10 obviously is not a stealthy platform, so we need a little help and a little assistance. So having a F-22 on top to keep the, the enemy air-to-air -air threat away from us, and then a F-35 to take care of those SAMs, the surface-to-air missile systems. And you put all that together, it works really well. The things that make the F-22 Raptor so lethal are some of the key characteristics that people know it for, such as Super Cruise, where you can go faster than the speed of sound without using an afterburner as well as our maneuverability. You know, you show up in the morning, you sit in the seat, you start getting strapped in and put your helmet on. Turn the battery switch on, and now it's time to go to work. And you feel the jet come to life, and it is the most exhilarating feeling you'll ever feel in your life. You start feeling the adrenaline picking up in your body, the, the blood's coursing through your veins. And when you fly fighter jets, you become one with the jet. Like it becomes an extension of your body. We complement each other very well. The, the Raptor was designed to do air-to-air, -air, and we do air-to-air -air very well. However, our primary role is air-to-ground strike, and that's against uh, deep uh, targets behind enemy lines, and then also suppression of enemy air defense. Together, we are very formidable. The F-35 sees everything. Nobody can see it, and you're just King Kong out there. The sensor fusion piece is that the air airplane is covered in sensors, and it fuses all that information together and presents it to the pilot in a very logical manner that it allows the pilot to then make split-second decisions for not only his airplane, his wingman, but the entire battle space. There's so many men and women out there in the United States Air Force, and it's, it's an honor to partially represent them on the demonstration team, and those just exhibit the pride, professionalism, and precision of every Air Force airman. It takes an entire team, as you see here on the demo team, you have maintainers, you have people from all different career fields to get one jet airborne, and it's an incredible story that you see on display every day in the United States Air Force. If you take a look at the Air Force Heritage Flight Foundation, it is remarkable. When you get a chance to fly in a modern fighter with 
an airplane in history. It just gives you goosebumps and you're just humbled by the experience.